one question that a lot of kids have been asking me is whether or not Juno's Jar is based on a true story. And it took me by surprise because I think of Juno's Jar as like this fantastical um, tale. But I think a lot of kids just see it as a story about a little girl whose friend moved away and who loves playing with kimchi jars and has this imagination. Um, so it is based on my real experiences. When I grew up, we used to have kimchi jars all over the house and I used to like to take them outside and find potato bugs or grasshoppers and put them in and make like a little habitat for them with grass and twigs and things like that and um, explore them close up. So, so that I feel like is based on my experiences. My husband, on the other hand, he likes to tell everyone that Juno's jar is based on his life story <laughs> because um, he grew up in LA's Koreatown and he actually really did have a friend named Hector um, who moved away. And I thought about like changing his name from Hector, but for some reason it was just, it, it just had to be, it just had to be Hector. Um, and so it was really important to me um, to base the story in Koreatown, in Ellie's Koreatown, because um, the stories he, he would tell me about growing up um, was so different from mine, where I was like the only Asian in my class, in my school, besides my brother. Um, and he was in a place where he wasn't part of the minority, he wasn't the minority. He, he, there wasn't a, like a clear majority in his neighborhood. There were like Koreans and Latinos and African Americans and they were just like, all, all, everyone was just friends with each other. And I, I, I love that. I, I just saw an article in School Library Journal about how, um, how important it is to show the cross-racial friendships in picture books and how kids are really impacted by it. And there's a study where they showed a group of kids, um, pictures of kids of different races playing together and getting along. And um, they found that those, that group of kids who were shown picture books like that were actually way more comfortable going out and actually making friends of different races in real life. Um, and that's so powerful that that's like how impactful a picture book can be. Um, the sad part was out of the thousands of thousands of picture books out there, um, the authors of this article could only find like a dozen um, that showed featured inter interracial or cross-racial friendships. And I find that, that that's kind of sad, and, but I'm hopeful that that'll change. There's a lot more conversation about this and a lot more awareness. Um, and so I didn't do that on purpose. Think about like Juno being Korean and she's gonna have a friend of a different race. But um, I just took that, that part from my husband's life, like true story, and I just wish that was true. Um, that was like an experience that all kids can have, including my 